What is up, guys? Newton here with MMO Play, bringing you a first look and impressions video of Mush, a free-to-play browser-based MMORPG. Now I'll be spending the next few minutes kind of running around checking this game out. Now here we are, we just logged in and signed up for the game, and it's having us pick uh, from uh, four different characters right here. Now basically the premise of the game is you pick a character and each one has a different story and different uh, different jobs to do on this spaceship that uh, you're kind of running around on. But we're going to go ahead and pick uh, this guy because he's the chef. Because uh, I enjoy cooking, I like being a chef, it sounds like an interesting job. Alright, so it seems like we got this guy over here, hello, can you hear me? Yep, he's an artificial intelligence, so it seems like this is kind of the thing that's going to pop up. Kind of showing us, uh, kind of the interface and stuff like that around the game. Alright, just telling us a bunch of stuff about the interface and what this is. There we go, chapter 2, the interface. Like I said, it's showing us the interface. Alright, showing us our character over here. That's our inventory, our health points, let's see, action points and movement points, sounds good, the day cycle, how many days, or how many hours you have until the next cycle, sounds good, yeah, you already pointed that out, this is the, this is the map, and this is where we're going to move and move around, stuff like that, and this is the event history, alright, chapter 3, first steps. Basically, it's going to have this little test. Let's see. This indicates how hungry. Wait. Indicates that you're hungry. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Click on the door and go to their factory. All right. So basically, right off the bat, the, the graphics seem, uh, they seem a little bit different from your normal browser-based MMORPG. It kind of reminds me of, like, a Habbo Hotel, if you guys are aware of that game. Or maybe the closest thing I'd compare it to maybe is Ragnarok Online, the first one. But uh, basically, it's having you run around. And it kind of feels more like a virtual reality game more than a MMORPG, but that's okay, it does have some RPG aspects to it. Right now it's kind of having us do tasks or quests, so. All right, we are in the refractory, it's having us do tasks. You can see we're kind of moving around the ship, and we need to go to the, the shelving unit, so we're gonna go ahead and walk over here. Looks like we're gonna pick this up. All right, we're gonna consume it, because it said our guy was hungry. There we go, and it shows our little event thing over here, what we've been doing. All right, make the way forward to Alpha Tour. This isn't tricky. There's only one door. Okay, so basically we're gonna have go around over here, and it's gonna have us run around a little bit more and kind of uh kind of explore a little bit. You need to take the front corridor, the opposite door from the refractory. So this was the refractory, so the opposite door. So I can only assume this is probably the way to go. There's a broken door in the corridor. Find the shelving unit, and click on it. Could contain something helpful to fix the door. All right, sounds good. So we're going to keep running around, kind of find this broken door. Uh, it seems like this looks like the door that's broken because it's kind of uh, smoking. So we're going to go to the shelving unit. We're going to pick up this adjustable wrench, pick it up, put it in our inventory right over here. And then, let's see. We're going to go ahead and click on this. We got the adjustable wrench, sounds good. And we need to fix the door. All right, so we're going to click repair. And it tells us we've repaired the door a little bit, but it still looks a little bit broken. So I think we need to click on it again. And click repair again. There we go. And nice job. You fixed the door. There we go. We did it. We fixed the door. Now we're going to go in here. All right. This kind of, let's see. The radar is showing a problem here. Hunters are attacking. All right. So this seems like where a little bit of the combat comes in or a little bit of fighting monsters and stuff like that. On the left, you'll see a list of turrets. All right, sounds good. On the right, you can see the hunters attacking. So it looks like we got uh, we got some enemies over here. So we're gonna go ahead, jump on into here, and we're gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot again. Oh, looks like we took them out. It didn't really seem too interesting. It was kind of uh, I guess we saw we didn't really get to see too much combat going on, but that's all right. We're gonna go ahead, hit next, and you'll find on the bridge. All right, we need to find a tracker on the bridge. That sounds good. Get back over here. That's the front corridor, and the bridge. All right, so this is where we need to go. All right, now here we are on the bridge. Select the shelving unit and pick up the tracker. All right, so shelving unit. All the shelving units kind of look the same, so it's kind of a, it's kind of easy to find this stuff now. It's it's, uh, it's starting to all to make sense a little bit. Pick up the tracker. Go to how I pick that up. And it looks like it gave us a little mini map right here. So it seems like at the more you're doing side quests and stuff like that, the more kind of uh the more things you're gonna unlock on your interface and stuff like that. 
So we're going to go ahead and hit sort search because it told us to. It looks like we've discovered a walkie-talkie. All right. Go ahead, hit next. Now select the shelving unit to show its contents to pick up the walkie-talkie. All right. Click on the shelving unit again, and there we go. We got the walkie-talkie. That sounds good to us, and it's showing us... Oh, so look at that. Like I said, the more tests you do, the more interface you unlock. So we, dis uh, we discovered the discussion board here, and it wants us to say hello to our comrades. So we're going to go ahead and hit hello and send it in. And we should be good to go. There we go. Chapter 4 ready. Try to normal mode. Okay, sounds good. So it seems like there's different chapters and stuff like that we can do. Looks like we got some achievements over here. Go ahead and click that. Yeah, we're going to move up to normal mode. So the more quests you do, the more harder the modes become, I guess. But other than that, guys, it seems like that's that's it for this video. If you've enjoyed this game or the video itself, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later.